All right, so I spent pretty much half the day outside. Uh, it was it was cool. Also, I ate so many different foods and sweets. I probably only ate things with sugar in them today. I had like I think I had ice cream maybe two or three times, and I had crepes. I never had them before, so that was that was cool. And I just took a lot of pictures and uh, made videos. I filmed a lot of stuff. So I'm going to be editing that probably tomorrow. I would do it tonight, but I actually still have not slept since Thursday night. So I'm very sleep deprived. I, I feel fine, I think. I, I believe that's because of all the sugar and caffeine because I also had a lot of soda. And it's weird. I, like, I don't feel sleepy, but I don't know how long it'll last. I think I don't, I don't know how long it'll last running off of sugar. Sorry. My skin feels kind of irritated. It's, it was, it was really humid today. Humidity was kind of, kind of kicking my ass. But, uh, rants aside, uh, I'm hoping to to get the video edits done. Uh, I posted one today actually earlier. It was uh, it was about mixing ices with a a cereal that was based on icy. Also, I actually poured the icy in the milk and drank it, and it was really weird. It tasted okay, but it was weird. Uh, the cereal itself was good, but for me, when I ate it, um, it had an aftertaste. It almost, the aftertaste <laughs> reminded me of, like, the cleaning aisle at Walmart when people spill detergent or cleaning products. Because I used to work at Walmart and I used to, like, clean some of the stuff there. So I'd pick up, like, defective products and things that were damaged or needed to be, you know, removed. And it tasted like that. It tasted like cleaning products. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it was okay. I ate it. I had, to, I think I had, like, three bowls of it, even though it reminded me of cleaning products. But I liked it. And, uh... I don't know. It, it, was, it was interesting. Uh, other good news is... I might start making dance videos again. It's been a while since I've done one of those. Um might try practicing choreography or just restyling maybe this next week next week this week whatever you want to call it uh so i'm excited about that music too music is coming up i have like two two tracks that are finished that i want to post uh i might post them tomorrow i already have the image the photography for it done and the mix is pretty much finished for it I mean, it's been finished because uh, these two, it's two tracks, I believe. Um, they've been done since like 2019, I think, 2020, 2019 or 2020. Uh, one of them is a rework from 2020. I know that much. Uh, but I'm going to post that maybe tomorrow. Um, uh, it's just an update, update of what I'm doing today. Uh, in regards to creating, uh, again, for me, creating is like therapeutic. Even this is therapeutic because I used to write journals, but, um, I got kind of sad because back 2020 before the pandemic, I was clearing out my room because I thought I was going to move out. And when I was reading some of my old journals, it made me sad. Because, like, 16-year-old me was talking about stuff that I was still going through at... I think I was... I was 28 when the pandemic started. So it hurt me, I guess, to think that some of those things never got resolved. And they were still happening. But, uh... You know? That happens. But, uh, I don't know.
So now I'm just doing video journals because I think it's, for me, it's, it's better. Um, it, it's more clearing for me. I don't know. I hope maybe this helps somebody. I don't know if it'll help much, but at least somebody, if they watch this, they'll know that they're not alone. Uh, and even then, it's mostly for me just to reflect and to see and look back on where I was and what I felt at different points in my life. Uh, there's a lot to think about right now, but there's also a lot of good things. There's a lot of good things that are coming. I just gotta push through it. That's the hard part about work. Like when you work, you spend like eight hours or more. We'll even round it up to 10 because you have to drive to work and then drive home. So it's easily 10 hours of your day devoted to work. Um, really wish we could only work like maybe six hours a week or something tops. Do the four days, be simple. But that's, that's another talk for another video, I think. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, good, good things coming. It's gonna, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Uh, hopefully I can shoot more film during the day. Because uh, nighttime, the lighting's not too good. Anyways, uh, good night. See you tomorrow.